The sea covers over two-thirds of the planet's surface. Yet we know more about space and the universe than we do about our own oceans. Between the states of Connecticut and New York is the Long Island Sound. A naturally protected channel into New York City used for over hundreds of years. The Sound's rich maritime history has played a significant role in the growth of our country. Join us as we explore its unsung residents and its forgotten history. Put on your detective hats, everybody. This is Captain Dennis with Squalls Marine. Today we're going to do an in-depth look at the Black Rocker. Now, the Black Rocker was a cabin cruiser that was on the NOAA charts. Um, we found it about three years ago. It was the first time we dove it, necessarily found it, but we dove it three years ago and we only checked out the external parts, the outside, the perimeter, things like that, and figured out that it was a fully intact boat, probably about 28 feet, 30 feet, give or take. That's our best guess. But today we're gonna go down and we're gonna spend some quality time with the wreck, get to know it, do a little bit of detective work and uh, see what we can find out. So uh, we've got a pretty strong current, which is a good thing because we're gonna be kicking up a lot of dust down here, folks. So we get down the bottom, we got the anchors in some very soft mud. Gonna make sure that's all nicey nice. And it is. So I just wanted, I'm gonna show you something real quick here. Uh, I'm gonna put the camera down. Now I'm gonna put my reel down in front of it. Now this is the beauty of having strong current. If you watch, current's strong enough, it just kind of makes the silt go away. And you can see the visibility improves as long as you don't kick things around. So we're gonna grab this and head on over to the boat. So here we are, we're on the port side of the vessel. And you can see one of the windows is open, so that might have been a problem. So maybe some water got in through the window while they were underway. And so much got in that it flooded the bilge pumps, but I doubt that. So we're going to look around the bottom, see if we can see anything. But I'm going to stick the camera inside. This is the, the port side window. We're going to stick the camera inside because I ain't fit in there. And uh, see what we can see. Oh, it's all full of silt. But it looks like there might be some furniture in there. Maybe a bench or a table. Look forward. Nope, nothing over there. And then we're going to look at some vents underneath the window. So I don't know if those are vents or controls or whatever. And there you can see that little green. That's that's the, uh, the entryway from the aft section of the ship. So we're going to move a little bit aft. Check the bottom. Ooh, what do we got here? This looks like it might have been a fender holder or something. Well, not this. This piece is a piece of, of window, I think. Some broken bottles. This might have been a fender holder that might have fallen off the bow, which is now no longer there, and a little broken bottle. This is probably just garbage from the locals. Here we are, we're on the port side, and we can see a little bit of a blue line there. It's kind of shiny. I'm trying to clean it off a little bit to make something out, and here we have something, a little rectangle. If you at home guessed shore power, guess what? You were right. It's a shore power connection. So this is a ship that would plug in when it got to the dock. So as we clean this off, hold on a second. We clean this off. It says Marnico. So it's another clue. So we're, we're well on our way to finding out more about this ship. So we're going to look over the port gunnel. And you can see there's a step down there. And here's the outside of the gunnel or the outside of the ship. And you can see the step right there and there's a little door that's opened. And I guess there used to be a seat there and there's the doorway into the cabin. And the left side windshield is missing. It was here three years ago. So I guess those currents kind of do a number on you. So now we're gonna clean off the starboard gunnel. We're inside the cockpit here and here you can see the little door to go out through the stern. And there's a little step right there. 
So we're gonna scoot around, check out the stern of the boat. So here we can see what looks like a trim tab over there. Ooh, and it's an IO. It's an inboard outboard. And here is the lower unit. Now here we've got the port side trim tab. And we're going to make our way back up. Look at the lower unit again. Looks like some junk stuck in here. And the starboard trim tab. And here's a big metal step. So this probably had a swim platform on it at one point. So now we're on the outside and we're going to start to move a little bit forward. And this, I believe, is the hatch that covers the, the engine on the inside. So saw something over here. Reach in, grab that. What's that? Oh, we got the steaming light or the anchor light or whatever you want to call it. But it's definitely the light. So we'll just put that back where we found it. Going to go back in, see if the mess we made has gone away. Here we have the port side vents. And give those a quick clean off. Ooh, shiny stainless steel. Still stainless. And these are some, some vents. Starting to think this is a bay liner, folks. So here we are. We're going to come up across the transom. And it looks like there's a big hatch that's now permanently opened and I see I see something this looks like a piece of stainless steel railing that's back there that's kind of weird weird place for that and then I'm gonna look around inside see if there's anything else in here some fishing weights so I guess whoever had this boat was a fisherman thank you captain obvious these are some nice shiny weights, so we're just we're all set with that. We'll give those to Pat when we see him. So now we're back inside the cockpit, and here you can see the throttle. Which is encrusted in this white stuff, and everything moves when you move the throttle. And here you can see this like a, a vinyl. And it's all shiny and blue. So there's the throttle. It was in neutral when it went down, so that's another clue. And here we have the instrument panel. So we're going to give this a little quick impromptu cleaning. Check out some of the gauges. Oh, looks like the VHF was gone. And this gauge is broken. There might have been an explosion. I doubt it. So here's a control panel, and you can see it's been down here for quite a bit to require this kind of cleaning. And you can see here, what's that? Hold on. Clean this off a little bit more. There's a lot of warnings. I don't know if they were heated. But they ran out of fuel. So could have run out of fuel, and somebody took the VHF out. And then... Here we are inside. Actually, no, this is under the seat. So we're underneath the seat, just sticking the camera in there. And you can see there's more fish and weights. So we're almost ready to go in. And here's a big piece of wood that's inside of under the seat. And some big weights. And there's a hook in my hand. But I'll be okay. That's why we wear these big Fisher Price gloves. So here, ooh, look at this one. It's a whoops. Sorry. This is a little weight and it's like a split shot thing and it's uh it's pretty cool. Oh I, butterfingers. Alright, so take a look at this thing, which is a stainless steel hinge, I guess. I don't know where that came from, but it was on the floor. So we're gonna go inside for a second. Now we're in the cabin. We're just sticking the camera in, seeing what we can see. And I see something over there. See that stick? I bet you I know what that is. I don't know if this is you know, like a storage compartment or what, but we reached in there because I kept banging my tank against the wall. It was too big to fit. And we found a fishing pole. 
with a pretty cool reel on it. So there it is. Doesn't make any sense because I'm beginning to think that the ship was scuttled, but why would they leave fishing tackle on it unless the fishing tackle was garbage to begin with? But it's a, a Penn Senator, which I find that out later. So we'll bring that up later for further investigation. So here we are. Oh, the cup holder. So whoever had this boat was a drinker. But the cup holder still works. So we'll leave that open. So let's see if we can see anything else inside the cabin. We pulled this out, which was one of the seats, which is actually in pretty good shape considering. There's no ripping on the vinyl. It's really pretty durable and it still bends. So we'll leave that where it is. Now we're on the outside and we are on the starboard bow, kind of. Here you can see the window into the cabin again. This side was open as well. It's almost like someone left the windows open because they wanted it to sink, but we don't know. It's possible, you never know. But the ship was missing a steering wheel, so maybe it fell off while they were driving. But you can see, even without the lights on the left-hand side, we've got really good ambient light at 53 feet. Clean this off a little bit. And can we see inside? Nope, because there's gunk on the inside too. So we're gonna take another look. We're on the, uh, like I said, starboard side, about midships, I guess you could say. There's me. Hi, everybody. So now we're on the stern and we're going to look for the hull number. This will give us another clue. So we're going to scrape a little bit around with the knife. I should have brought a scraper, but I kind of didn't expect it to be like this. So bear with me while we try to scrape some of this stuff off. Here we can see a sticker that says, thank you for buying a quality marine product or something like that. And up here is where the, the serious number is. Let's see if we can see it. It's kind of hard to see. But the last two digits were 95. So whatever year this, whatever boat this was, it was built in 1995. That's the year the hull was made. So that's the secret clue. If you want to find out more about it, I don't know, do your homework. We think it's a bay liner, uh, 28 foot, 1995. But we're going to head on up to the surface with our new fishing pole and reel. And uh, if you think you know what the ship is, write in the comments below. We'd love to hear what you think. Until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.